The coins I have here are from all over the world. Some of them are terribly ancient and valuable, like these gold coins from ancient Greece, and these Roman coins from the time of Emperor Augustus. God, I can't do her voice anymore. Stop talking. The Saudis coins look very, very old. Some are stamped with faces and words. Some of the older ones are from the Roman Empire. They are made of bronze or silver and are stamped with the faces and names of Roman emperors. These are really cool. I'd love to have a coin collection like this. Don't let Grebes come shopping here. Psst! You two music fans? What a shady character. He's about to flash us. Uh... Yeah, my favorite is rock and roll, but I like pretty much anything. Garzin's like, rock and roll? What is this? Well, right here, I've got the latest and the greatest. Nothing but the best from Jimmy Krebs. You know, Rabbit Hedgehog, well, I've got the newest album right here for only two quid. Interested? Two pounds? That's really cheap, Carson. I paid six pounds for the last album I bought in the store. That's about nine bucks in American money. Not anymore. Thank you, crappy American dollar. Jimmy Creeps is selling cassette tapes out of his suitcase. The covers of the cassettes are handwritten. They say, Rabbit Hedgehog, fangs for the memories. Sorry, Jimmy. I'm, how does Nigel say it? Skint. I just blew my last pound on that bag of salt and vinegar crisps for Jake. Oh, why would you buy anything for Jake? I'm broke, Carson. You're probably, probably poisoned. Back to the Cuddy's Ark. Man, Miranda, I just did all your work for you. You were probably getting drunk with pirates. Back again, me hearties. Are you ready to solve our pirate puzzle? I think so, Captain Greenbeard. Carson and I figured out all the riddles you asked us. All right, then let's hear the answers. What does a pirate call the bottom of the sea? Um, let me check my notebook here. That's it, Davy Jones's locker. Well done, matey. And what do we pirates drink? Grog, Captain. Right again, you lucky swab. And what does a pirate call a man who lives ashore? Um, let me see. Ah, a landlubber. <laughs> right again. And finally, where do pirates throw their enemies? Overboard, of course. That's where Carson wants to jump. Well, shiver me timbers, you've gotten all the clues you need to solve the pirate puzzle, and find that password that'll get you aboard my ship. Get the password right, and the fair Miranda is free to go, along with a hunk of pirate treasure to be handed over to the British Children's Fund. All you need to do is take the first letter of each word or phrase and unscramble the things that pirates love the most. Type in the word made from the first letter of each pirate phrase to spell out the password. What pirates love most? Claude. Yar, right again. Gold is what we love the most, and what in gold be the password that gets your Aunt Miranda back? And, ahem, may I just add that it was jolly good fun playing pirate with the lot of you. Hope to see you again next year. Woo! Now, as I was saying, Jennifer, I overheard that Scotland Yard is having an all-out manhunt for a pirate. I didn't get the details, because Inspector Gage and I were very busy at the time. But I hope to be there when they catch who they're looking for. Do you and Carson think you can help me find out who they're after? We already did, bitch. God, you don't even have to do anything. Absolutely, Anne M. Well, you've been, um, tied up here. <laughs> Carson's ears perk up. Like, what? Tied up? My specialty. Carson and I have been running around London picking up clues and doing your job for you. Our notebook is full of clues. Well, Carson, are we ready to tell Aunt Miranda who Scotland Yard is after? I think we are. Now all the pieces fit together. Pick the clues that show who you think Aunt Miranda should be chasing.
Arr. Like how Jeff Moss's resume is in our Travis. Wait, what happened to the clue about Miss Drumright? What the hell? Whatever. Those are the clues that tell this pirate tale. Now choose the suspect that you think is the modern day pirate that Scotland Yard is after. Jimmy Creebs. You got it! The police are after a real modern day pirate, not any of those cool swashbuckling types. It was that creep, Jimmy Creebs. Even his name is creepy. Miss Drumright explained to us about today's pirates who illegally copy music or computer programs and then sell them without giving any money to the people that did all the work to make them. This is exactly what Jimmy Creeves was up to when he tried to sell us those bogus tapes. Mmm, cassette tapes. The pirate that Scotland Yard is after is looking for a music pirate, Jimmy Creeves. Buccaneer prank unveils piracy ring. Internationally famous Eagle Eye detectives Carson Drew and Jennifer Eagle yesterday led Scotland Yard to the leader of a music piracy ring. Jimmy Creams has been selling illegal copies of record albums, explained Inspector Gage. He was selling the tapes out of a suitcase so he could elude our patrol bobbies. Creams made the mistake of trying to sell his illegal wares to the young American sleuths while they were hunting down the clues to the annual Buccaneer Bash pirate puzzle. Carson knew that Creeb's tapes couldn't be the real thing. They were hi in handwritten boxes, said Jennifer Eagle. Making illegal copies of other people's work is a really creepy way of stealing. Hmm. <laughs> I don't do that at all. What are you talking about? As I close my slightly illegal game. <laughs> 